In this one, I'm going to be sharing a client interview with Connor Healy, who is a sales coach making over 100k a month. And he worked with us, our fitness coaching company. So as an example, this is my business partner, Dominic. And we have a full team of four fitness coaches, nutrition coach, and many, many others. And so we work with managing directors, directors of Fortune 500 companies, pilots from Air Canada, American Air United, Havan Airlines, probably all the airlines in, <laughs> in America. So yeah, this is what we do all day long. And as well, we work with doctors, lawyers, and people like that. And as I mentioned, Connor Healy was our client and I was not mainly on the call. My business partner, Dominic, was there. So I just wanted to feel this additional video on top of the main video and potentially add some things that were not mentioned and as well i'm going to probably add a clip of me and dominic being together and maybe him adding some additional points towards this and also dominic is there anything you would add towards connor 100 percent. connor was an amazing person to work with but i will say he is the type of person that is a committed individual when he says he's gonna do something he's gonna do it we just laid out everything for him. But if you're not the type of person that is actually committed and says or does what they say they're going to do, this is not going to work for you. But if you are, this will definitely work for you. And again, we lay everything out for you. So Connor was an amazing person to work with and an absolute pleasure. Yeah, and I mean, guys, if you are into sales, definitely check him out. But let's get back to the video. Thanks for taking the time. Why don't we, why don't we take a trip down memory lane and... and just have a look at your time with us together. How's that sound? Of course, man. Sounds good. Great. So yeah, let's look at where you were before you joined us. Where were you mentally and physically? Help me understand. Man, I was mentally exhausted. Uh, physically, I was not overweight, but I didn't look great. And considering I run a business, that was a lot of complications from a leadership perspective. And to become a good leader, I needed to get back onto my physique, looking better, feeling better, these types of things. And I was really kind of out of whack with my habits. I wasn't tracking what I was eating. I was eating terribly. I had low energy all the time. Uh, wasn't productive. Very little willpower and discipline as well because it stacked up over time where just because I work remotely with my business, it was... Uh, yeah, it was tough. It was, it was really, really, really uh, hard to the point where I just knew that I had to do something to kick into gear because otherwise it would have just gotten significantly worse. And I felt before meeting you guys, it was at the point where almost of no return where like I had to do something. Otherwise, it was going to get more serious. It was going to get more overweight and it was going to pile on and not look so great. And um, yeah, it, it wasn't ideal before I met you guys. And to add even to this, yes, Connor works remotely, but try to think of all the other pilots that we have right now. Jet lag, time zone changes, being tired, coming to the hotel, not knowing where they are going to eat, and all the pain points, all the problems they are facing. So if we are able to help these guys, then with Connor, it's definitely possible. So yeah, just wanted to add this one point. Yeah, I mean, I remember that quite quite vividly, or rather vaguely, but not not in such detail, because it's it's been a minute. But I guess, what was that moment for you where you're like, shit, I need to do something. And then to piggyback off of that, what made you reach out to us specifically? I actually got referred to you from a friend. So Corbin, a previous client. And uh, I've worked with PTs in the past. And I think I mentioned to you my negative experience with uh, guys in the past as well, where uh the coach himself didn't understand my responsibilities as a business owner as compared to you know someone who is super busy and has a pretty uh wild and sporadic lifestyle going from place to place and traveling and, and so on um but yeah i was referred to by corbin he, he spoke high things of you and also one of the things about pts personal trainers is that you have to align to their schedule mainly so another reason we do what we do is because when you really think about it does the personal trainer want to teach you absolutely everything because if he would teach you everything then you don't really need him 
and then he will lose you as a client. So when you maybe go sometimes to the gym, you see the personal trainers having their clients do some specific exercises to mess with their mind so they don't know what to do if they would be on their own. So yeah, it's still better than nothing, but yeah, that's a massive difference between the PTEs. And if they are not a business owner directly, they don't understand the specific problems the person might be facing. So yeah, I just wanted to add that. <laughs> And what was the other question you had balls on the back of that? Yeah, it was rather like, what was the moment where you're like, shit, I needed to do something because obviously you had progressively gone worse over time. Mm. But what was like the epiphany for you? Like, shit, I need to change something. I think it was the point where for almost over a year, I was consistent with my health habits and I was getting really lean and I was really in shape and I was really consistent. But then when I started one of my businesses over a year ago, uh, the consistency just flacked off and business became the responsibility and the priority. And then for over like a year and a bit, I kept on telling myself that I would get to the gym, get to the gym and I would do it in, in some points, but it was not something that I stuck to, even though it's something I've done as a big part of my life since I was like 16. Uh, it was just constantly, I'll just get to the gym. I'll get my steps done. I'll do this. But for a long time, it just kept on eating terribly, uh, going for the easy route, ordering pizzas, ordering burgers, stuff that's not, you know, that you're not really meant to be eating on a consistent basis. And I was just going for the easy route, basically. And it got to the point where I moved from Australia to Dubai. And I said, when I get to the buy, I'll start going back to the gym. I'll start getting steps in and do this stuff. And I, the same thing I said for over a year. And then, uh, I didn't, and I just messaged Corbin and I was like, bro, I, I need to need to pay like somebody, a, a team to, to keep me accountable. And, uh, that's when I booked a call with you. Yeah. I mean, crazy that you, you have to go through such a period of time of, of just struggling, not doing anything until you finally take action, where it's just like, I'm sure you would you would kick yourself right now, like, bro, why didn't you do this earlier, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I think for me, it was at the point where uh, when you don't have a people around you telling you that you need to change, then you're just going to keep doing the same thing over and over again. So... Would you attest to the, because you mentioned the the business problems that started showing up, would you attest to the, I think it's a, a saying that goes that your business problems are just personal problems reflecting in your business? Absolutely. Like uh, since the months we started working together, uh, I've had record months consistently uh, month on month for all the months that we've been working together. And yeah, we've we've been really pushing some business numbers, which is really, really cool. And we've been doing that, yeah, literally since we started working together, which was a couple months ago. Love to hear that. I actually didn't know that it, it really, really started taking off since we work, started working together, rather. Did you have any concerns before you joined or did you just trust Corbin? Not specific, not, not, not specifically. Like, uh, because... I was referred by call when I just was like, cool, no worries. Um, I've worked with PTs before in the past. Um, I've worked with online trainers, but um, it wasn't quite on the level of what it was like working with you guys. And to even add to it, I found a sales call, that, not sales call, it wasn't a sales call. It was just a normal like 20 minute call with Conor and Dominic in the past. And the reason Conor is at the level that he is, making over 100k a month as you could hear in the video he said that he has been growing every single month when he was when he was with us and his company got to great numbers and this is the type of behavior it takes because successful people say that your business is a reflection of you and yeah look at what connor did when dominic said to him like at the time we were charging 3.2k for 16 week program but let me play it okay great so it's four months and it's 3200 for those four months and you can either do painful, which a lot of clients prefer because it's one payment. They don't have to think about it. They feel like they're more committed or split payments of 800. Which one works better for you? I think I'm going to think about it. Nah, I'm just fucking with you. Yeah, man. I'll, I'll pay in full. 
Yeah, it sounds good. Yeah, cool. Okay. Okay, great. So, gonna send out the payment link and then I'll walk you the onboarding process. Do you boys take Amex? Should it's through Stripe. So should be good. Okay, that should do. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, we're gonna pop in the chat. Yes, sir. One uh, this, this would be beautiful, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm um. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting cranking. Because I think I think that I've never like invested. Well, no, actually, that's true. That's not true. I have invested towards like my health before and like a high ticket fashion, but I mm-hmm. haven't. Not in this type of dynamic where I guess I have resources where I can get, um, where I can get access to like just cooking easy, done, finished. Like it's not going to be an issue at all. Um, yeah. And same thing is like just getting locked in. Like all I'm doing is sitting in this apartment and the next apartment for the next sixty days. And just okay. eating, what, eating what you tell me to do, training in the schedule mm-hmm. you tell me to do, and just working all the time. So yeah. it's getting pretty dialed. So I'm looking forward I to I like it. that. I can just say from personal experience, that's the best feeling, just being fully locked in. And I'm sure you- And he paid in full right away. I could play the rest of the clip, but I can confidently say that this is why Connor is at the numbers that he's doing and why his health and business is in the best place it has ever been, in my opinion. And we have seen it with ourselves when we joined programs for like 12K, $12,000 and yeah, and just did the work and got to where we are at, at the moment. So yeah, <laughs> let me play actually the rest of the video. Yeah, I mean, since you have the comparison, maybe help me understand what, what you mean by that specifically. What did we do differently? I think uh, I mentioned to you directly as well when we, we caught up for a chat. Uh, looking at the way your fulfillment is built out uh, and how you serve your clients, I've actually taken inspiration for my own business because of the level of efficacy and the level of support, the level of care, and the level of systems you have in place to ensure someone is accountable towards their goals and really has everything that they need to pursue their fitness goals, whatever that may be. And one more thing to add towards this, the reason we work with people like Conor and all the pilots, managing directors, and all these kinds of people is that, yes, we could have a low ticket fitness coaching program, get thousands of people into it. And you may see it with other random fitness coaches on the Instagram and YouTube. They have thousands of clients and they are throwing around these numbers, but tell me the amount of results, you know, like so many people churn, so many people leave, etc. But I can even show you proof here. For example, this is one of our stripes. I can even refresh this so you can see it's real and yeah, we mainly work with these people and we charge high ticket and as well in split payments, etc. I can even go to the next page. And with this one-on-one access, one-on-one support to the clients, this is one of the reasons we are able to get this type of results for other clients. And I'm still on the old page that, you know, I'm showing you right now for the perspective. So, yeah. Um, it was from, you know, the, the WhatsApp group chat with all the team, the team constantly reaching out to me to keep me accountable, um, asked me questions because when I traveled from Dubai to Australia to go, go travel for a month, you know, uh, Maya, you know, was in the group chat, like, Hey, this is what you should be eating. You should be eating, take, you know, take photos of what you're eating. And if it wasn't for that, I probably would have just eaten whatever. And, you know, when you're in business class, they give you a bunch of stuff and whatever. And it's almost like an unlimited buffet and in the lounges there's buffets and things like that and whatever. And I would have just gone full ham, but I just knew that again, the stats are being watched. You can measure, you can track it, you can see it. And if I do go up on the scale, I'm not only disappointing myself, but also disappointing the team that I've actually put money forth towards to, to get the results. So I think it was amazing from that element, you know, even just emails checking in with me uh, period- periodically, the training, the community, um, everything involved was just really, really good and to a very high level of standards. I really appreciate that, especially coming from you. You've seen a lot. You you run a very successful business yourself. So genuinely, that, that, means, that means so, so much to me and I'll definitely pass that on to the team. I guess other than, of course, for you personally, it's changed quite a bit in terms of your outputs in business, et cetera. But I mean, talk to me, how have things changed for you? Just, I don't know, feeling about yourself, confidence or just in general, because 
I mean, you have achieved something pretty cool in 16 weeks. So yeah, help me understand. Yeah, I think probably the biggest thing for me with business being so volatile and stressful uh, all the time on a weekly basis, I found that fitness has been the thing that I've been able to come back to. And I think it's probably not only just from a physical transformation, but also a mental side of things where if business is going up or down or whatever problem is happening, what I've learned and been able to throw myself into because I've been held accountable to a goal and held accountable to a schedule is go back to my fitness as, as my main staple. And it's the only place I can go to that is just neutral. And the one thing that I can control, no matter whatever's happening in the business, team, finances, growth, all that type of stuff, I think that's been massive from from that element. It's something that I can always go back to and have like a consistent baseline and almost like a crutch, but a healthy crutch in that way. Um, I think all around, I just feel better, move better, feel cleaner, uh, more energy, and obviously eating the right foods and being consistent with that. Uh, feel lighter from a weight perspective. You know, I've nearly lost things like 10 kilos or something like that. Yeah. Um, just, yeah, all around, it's just been amazing from a mental and a, and a physical perspective as well. That's so cool to hear kind of like genuinely because, I mean, it's changed so much for me. That's why I do what I do. But my main question to you is, do you feel like you've finally made it a lifestyle? A part of your life and do you feel like you you know what to do moving forward yeah 100 percent. i think as we spoke together one-on-one a couple of weeks ago as well it's just getting moving forward is the hardest part and once you're 30 60 days in uh, the habits slowly become automatic i could feel wrong or weird for me to not go and train or get steps in or eat the right food and it does. It it's it feels odd if I go and eat something that's not so good. I'll immediately revert back to the normal usual programming because that's what I'm used to and that's what my mind is used to. So yeah, it's it's definitely thrown throwing me forward into making it more of a lifestyle as opposed to just a one quick fix, as opposed to just whatever diet, keto, paleo, whatever it is that you that you might be trying. Um it's more of what I would say is working with Dom and the team is more from a principles perspective as opposed to the techniques. They're not just going to teach you and show you how to lift a certain weight or do one certain exercise or just eat a certain way, like a certain diet. Like it's, it's mainly the, the thinking and the, I guess the habits that you build up is probably one of the most important parts of, incorporating it as a lifestyle because once you've gotten up to that mountain and you've climbed you've climbed it and you've scaled the summit uh it's really hard to to walk your way back down because you know how bad it was when you first started so yeah absolutely it's it's more of creating a lifestyle as opposed to just a one quick fix and one more thing towards this as well is because it's 16 weeks and then i was making the comparison in the beginning of the video about the personal trainers Yes, in those 16 weeks, we teach our clients everything they need to know about fitness and nutrition, everything. So they don't need a personal trainer ever again. And they are set potentially for life. And we have around 75 to 80% renewal rate. And the clients renew because they freaking love the team. They love the results. They love the community, etc. So and the main point is to teach our clients like everything they need to know in those 16 weeks. So they don't need a personal trainer ever again, as I mentioned earlier. I'm not saying to never get the fitness coach ever again, but to have the option to choose one instead of only being required for that. That is so relatable because Sometimes I get asked, like, why why do you eat healthy? Why do you do what you do? And it's just like, first of all, you've worked so hard to get to where you are. And you're like, why would I ever want to go back? 
But the second thing is, firstly, you genuinely learn how to make healthy foods extremely enjoyable, but you just love the way they make you feel. I don't know, you tell me if that's relatable, but it's just like, I don't feel great after having a donut. I'm not saying that I don't have that ever or occasionally, but I just feel really, really good when I put the right things into my body. And again, you can make it enjoyable if you know what you're doing. Is mm. that relatable? Yeah, I think eating eating more clean, having better energy um, you know, in combination with sleep and tracking stress levels and training in all combination, uh, you really do feel significantly better. And when when you eat terribly and you don't train and you get used to that feeling, you forget how good it felt being healthy, sleeping well, managing your stress, training, uh, and you only really, really can sense that feeling when you get back into it. And it takes a bit of time. It's not like it's going to be you choose to, to, to live that lifestyle and you're going to immediately feel better. But within a couple of weeks to 30, 60 days, that's when you kind of get back up that mountain and you just you realize how terrible it was back before. Lethargic, low energy, brain fog, um, and especially if you you know run a business like myself, you need all these things to be well and good, and you need to be a well oiled machine. So, yeah, it's it's been drastic improvements in regards to that. Yeah, I mean, as a business owner, <laughs> you can't really afford to to be sick, be ill, be off track. Like you just can't afford to, which is very very relatable, and that makes a lot of sense. Kind of, I guess. One final question I have for you is, you know this, you do sales, right? You you do objection handling and sales as service. And I guess I want to hear from you, what would you tell someone who's been doing the same thing over and over again, not seeing results, getting frustrated, and they they haven't gotten help yet or the right help yet, and they may be sitting on the verge of like either giving up or, or giving coaching a shot? What would you tell them? I think at the end of the day, you have to understand that you have to do you have to do something that you never did to get something you never got. And to become the fit person, you need to act like one. You can't just do the stuff, be the person, have the thing. You need to become the person before you see the person. And in order to do that, you need to take the actions and make decisions as the person you want to become. And to make those decisions and take those actions, a big step of that is booking a call with Dominic's team and to actually get that help. Because if you don't spend the money, if you don't put the investment in, if you don't put in the work in, you're going to remain the same. You're going to stay in the same spot that you're right now. And if you're, if you're someone who travels a lot for their career, or you're a business owner and you know the importance of your health, you know the importance of how you feel in the day-to-day, you need to book in a call, talk to the team, find out if there's a way that can possibly help you. Because if you don't, you're going to stay stuck in the same cycle that you're probably in now, just like I was a couple of months ago, doing the same thing, feeling terrible, not looking great, not feeling great, not feeling confident, and ultimately, that bleeds into every single area of your life. You might have a relationship. You might be married. You might have um, – there's so many different ways that health impacts you, not just directly on how you feel, but it goes across all areas. So I would strongly recommend someone who's kind of sitting on the line or sitting on the edge, I would encourage to take the leap of faith, invest in a coach, uh, although that might be scary if you've never done it before, uh, you need to, again, act like the person you would want to become. And the fit person invests in the health, invests in support, and invests in team. Honor, that is very profound, and I appreciate the kind words. Of that course. said, let's, I think that's that's more than enough said. I really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your extremely busy day and, and hopping on this call with me. Yeah, and as Connor said, this is a great lesson that always when you are stuck or you are facing problems or literally whatever, try to ask yourself, 
what would a version of me that's making 100k a month right now do in this scenario? Or what would a fit and healthy person do in this scenario? So try to put yourself to the position of your ideal self and ask the question that what would you do if you were that person? And how I started to look at life because there are, let's say, different frequencies. There is a reality of you right now sleeping or right now being at the restaurant or right now working or literally whatever there are million realities and there is also a reality of you making let's say 100k and right now and being in the best shape of your life or being shredded or literally whatever but it's just like how can i get on a frequency of that person doing those numbers being healthy etc so yeah maybe something you can ask yourself and yeah i hope this video was helpful and goodbye